she'll appreciate all the trouble you've gone to to find her. Let's call her. It's ringing! Whoever this is, we're in the middle of something very important here. This is your dad. What? So, 20 years later, so why now? How did it happen, briefly? Needed money. And, uh, no, uh, no, we, <laughs> I, I don't know. The stars lined up. It seemed like it just never was the right time. And about five years ago, we started thinking about it. Jim Carrey, uh, w wanted in Jeff always wanted in, we wanted to do it. And it just seemed like the perfect sequel. So we just got cracking. The postcard from Freda Felcher. Harry, I'm pregnant. Please call me. What do you think it means, Harry? Lloyd, I'm going to be a dad. Ah! Oh, What if we go track her down? You're hot for my daughter. What? Am I right? What? Am I right? I'll tell you one thing. The, the guys are no sm uh, smarter than they were before. They're still dumb. They still love each other. They're still very, very funny. And uh, I they think haven't it, changed. No. They don't grow. They're the same. That's the beauty of Harry and Lloyd. They don't, they don't change. And so you can take them anywhere, and they're going to be the same guys. I like her a lot. In almost every movie, the, the character gets a little bit smarter or something changes. They call it a character arc, you know, and, and by the, from the beginning to the end of the movie. But the beauty of these two guys is they are exactly the same at the beginning and the end. They, there's really no growth, and that's kind of what makes them so funny. It's like this also for the directors. I mean, also the directors change or they are the same. Um, we, well, we don't. We, we look a lot worse than yeah. we used to look. Uh, but, yeah. uh, um, you know, mentally, emotionally, no, we don't, we don't really grow either. Hey, guys, I know this is weird timing, but I got to take this. It's my dead dad. She's got me on hold. 20 years later, are you thinking about the new generation of uh, audience of young people? No, you know, we don't really think like that. Like, you know, we hope that they like it, but you can't think about your audience when you write. We just write what we think is going to be funny and hope that it finds an audience. Yeah, this one was a little tricky because a lot of the, it is, you know, the sequel is 20 years from the original. So we had to be, we had to be true to that. And, and the people that watch the original now are, are all a little bit older too. So there's, there's two different generations of, of potential film, you know, goers to watch the movie. So we, we kept them both in mind a little bit. Cheers. Whoa, wait, where'd you get that? The slurping machine in the back. That's embalming fluid. Oh, does it have aspartame? No. Cool. It's the diet stuff that'll kill you. This, is your humor translating well in different countries, in Europe, in Asia, in Africa, in your opinion? Well, you know, this movie did because this, we are told, is the number one most pirated movie in Chinese history. In fact, we were told that they actually made a sequel in China <laughs> with other characters. So we know it works in China. But yeah, it, this movie, does, this went worldwide. Because of the physical comedy, I think physical comedy travels better. Yeah, dialogue, if it's all about dialogue, and it, that may not travel as well. You know, but uh, when it's physical, when the guys are, are physically funny, I think hopefully it'll travel all over the world. <laughs> Ah! <laughs>